What is plaque psoriasis, with psoriatic nail changes, its causes and treatment? Plaque psoriasis with psoriatic nail changes is a specific manifestation of psoriasis, a chronic autoimmune skin condition. Psoriasis is characterized by the rapid buildup of skin cells, leading to the formation of thick, silvery scales and red patches on the skin. When psoriasis affects the nails, it is referred to as psoriatic nail changes. In plaque psoriasis with psoriatic nail changes, individuals not only experience the classic symptoms of plaque psoriasis, such as raised, inflamed, and scaly skin lesions, plaques, but they also have nail involvement. Psoriatic nail changes can include a. Pitting. Small dents or pits in the surface of the nails. b. Discoloration. Nails may become discolored, with areas of yellow-brown discoloration or oil spots. c. Thickening. Nails may thicken and become more brittle. d. Separation. The nail may separate from the nail bed, on ecolysis. e. Changes in shape. Nails may develop an irregular shape, with crumbling or ridges. These nail changes can be cosmetically and functionally bothersome, and they often coexist with skin symptoms. The severity of psoriatic nail changes can vary among individuals. The condition is typically managed with a combination of topical treatments, systemic medications, and, in some cases, targeted therapies. Dermatologists often play a key role in diagnosing and managing plaque psoriasis with psoriatic nail changes. If you suspect you have this condition, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate management plan. Causes of plaque psoriasis include The causes of plaque psoriasis with psoriatic nail changes are linked to the underlying autoimmune nature of psoriasis. Psoriasis occurs when the immune system mistakenly triggers the skin cells to grow too quickly, leading to the formation of thick, scaly plaques on the skin. When psoriasis affects the nails, it can result in various changes due to the involvement of the nail matrix, nail bed, and surrounding tissues. While the exact cause of psoriasis is not fully understood, following are the several factors contribute to its development. Genetics. There is a significant genetic component to psoriasis. Individuals with a family history of psoriasis are at a higher risk of developing the condition, including psoriatic nail changes. Immune system dysfunction. Psoriasis is considered an autoimmune disorder, where the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy cells, including skin cells. This immune system dysfunction leads to the rapid turnover of skin cells, causing the characteristic plaques and nail changes. Environmental triggers. Certain environmental factors can trigger or exacerbate psoriasis episodes. Common triggers include stress, infections, injury to the skin, known as the Kobner phenomenon, and certain medications. Inflammatory processes. Chronic inflammation plays a crucial role in psoriasis. Inflammation affects both the skin and the nails, leading to the changes observed in psoriatic nail involvement. The exact mechanisms that lead to psoriatic nail changes are still under investigation, but it is believed that a combination of genetic predisposition and environmental triggers contribute to the development and progression of psoriasis, including its impact on the nails. Managing plaque psoriasis with psoriatic nail changes often involves a comprehensive approach that may include topical treatments, systemic medications, and lifestyle modifications. Individuals with symptoms should seek consultation with a healthcare professional, typically a dermatologist, for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate management plan. The treatment of plaque psoriasis with psoriatic nail changes typically involves a comprehensive approach to address both the skin and nail symptoms. Treatment plans are tailored based on the severity of symptoms, the extent of involvement, and the individual's response to different interventions. Here are common treatment options. Topical treatments. A. Corticosteroids. Topical steroids can help reduce inflammation and itching in both skin and nail areas. B. Topical retinoids. These medications derived from vitamin A can help normalize skin cell turnover. C. Topical calcineurin inhibitors. Medications like tacrolimus and pimacrolimus can be applied to reduce inflammation. D. Phototherapy, light therapy. E. Ultraviolet B, UVB, therapy. Controlled exposure to UVB light can help manage symptoms by slowing down skin cell turnover. F. Sorolin plus ultraviolet A, PUVA. This involves a combination of a light-sensitizing medication, sorolin, and UVA light exposure. Systemic medications. A. 
oral or injectable immunosuppressants, drugs like methotrexate, cyclosporin, or biologics, such as TNF-alpha inhibitors or IL-17 inhibitors, may be prescribed for more severe cases. Nail-specific treatments. A. Topical steroids. Applied directly to the nails to reduce inflammation. B. Intralesional steroid injections. Steroids injected into the nail matrix for localized treatment. C. Topical calcineurin inhibitors. Applied to the nails for anti-inflammatory effects. Oral retinoids. Medications like acetretin may be prescribed in certain cases, especially when other treatments are ineffective. Supportive measures. A. Proper nail care. Trimming nails regularly and avoiding trauma can help prevent worsening of nail symptoms. B. Moisturizers. Using moisturizers can help alleviate dryness and reduce the risk of skin cracking. It's crucial to work closely with a dermatologist or healthcare professional to develop a personalized treatment plan. Regular monitoring and adjustments to the treatment strategy may be necessary based on the individual's response and any potential side effects. Additionally, lifestyle modifications, such as stress management and avoiding triggers, can complement medical treatments for better outcomes. Disclaimer. This educational video on plaque psoriasis is for informational purposes only and not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Thanks for watching.